tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, needless to say, it's been a wild day of weather across the tri-state, right? We started the day with sunshine, temperatures approaching 50 degrees this afternoon, only to end it with some cold and snow tonight. Now the snow beginning to wrap up. Let me show you Power of 5 Live radar here behind me. And you can see how the snow has basically progressed across the area over the past three to four hours again, starting up near I-70 and basically blanketing the entire viewing area. Now the heaviest snows are now southeast of Cincinnati, and you can see it pretty clearly here in this blue stripe from just south of Hillsboro to Scott over towards Georgetown, right across Brown County, and then back towards Brooksville and Falmouth. Some very heavy snow. Snow falling out there now, just south of Moscow, over towards Brooksville and Augusta, over towards Georgetown. This snow is coming down fast enough, even though in some cases temperatures are near or maybe a couple of degrees above freezing, that the secondary roads certainly have a little bit of snow on them. And then from Falmouth over towards Owenton, Crittenden still snowing at a pretty good clip. Here within the 275 loop now, you can see much lighter blues, and even once you get on the northwest side of 275 up towards Harrison and then moving on up towards Brookville, the snow has completely ended. All together, and the good news, there's nothing else coming down the pike from Dayton back down towards Indianapolis. All right, I want to take a little tour around the tri state here, courtesy of some of our weather bug cameras. This is out of Lebanon here from the LCNV National Bank. And look at the side streets. They are covered with snow. So, again, the major thoroughfares, the interstates, they're simply wet as we were reporting earlier. But some of the side streets, your neighborhood streets, do have some snow cover on them tonight. There's a live look, and you see, see some cars moving by. Same story up around Connorsville. Again, some of the secondary streets having a little bit of snow cover on them. This is from St. Vincent up in Kenwood, and you can see the parking lot here covered with a little bit of snow. So, again, watch the sidewalks, your driveway tomorrow morning, secondary roads, all could have a little bit of snow cover on them. And I thought this was a pretty cool time lapse from here in Mount Auburn where we started the day with sunshine and the cloud cover built in pretty quick. And as we go out through time here, you will see that snow fill in pretty quickly this evening and eventually even losing the skyline a little bit because it did come down heavy for a brief period of time before it is now beginning to taper off. So there's a live look. We're currently holding at 24, and that is part of the problem for tonight. Temperatures are going to drop very quickly here over the next couple of hours. So even where there's just slush or wet patches on the roadways, could we see some refreezing occurring overnight tonight. Notice 33 in Maysville, 30 in Peebles, but it drops off to 24 in Connorsville and 22 in Batesville. By morning, most areas will be down into the teens. Not to mention wind chills tomorrow morning. Going to be in the teens to around 10, thanks to these brisk northwesterly winds, which are up there between 10 and 20. Feels like 13 here in Cincinnati, but 4 in Indianapolis. So, again, single digit wind chills, a pretty good bet tomorrow morning when you wake up. So the snow should get out of here between about 1 and 2 a.m. For those of you southeast of us, it's going to wrap up here in the metro within the next hour. And then tomorrow, we may start with a few clouds in the morning, but break out in the sunshine. It won't do much for our temperatures, though. Cold night coming up tomorrow night. And then as we get into Friday, a warming trend with sunshine. So just as the cold and snow blasts its way in today, it's out of here and it will be gone by the weekend. 18 for a low tonight with the cold winds continuing to blow and the snow should wrap up again. Let's call it 2 230 southeast of the metro. 26 for a high tomorrow with frigid sunshine. Here's your day planner. We'll start the morning around 18. Remember, wind chills will be in the single digits. We'll climb up to 21 tomorrow. We'll be between about 20 and 25 during the daytime hours. Here's your seven day forecast 18 tonight, 18 tomorrow night. But look how we start to bounce back on Friday, close to 40 degrees. And then how about 50s over the weekend? Saturday is my pick day this weekend with some rain in here on Sunday. I'll take the 50s <laughs> for sure after I'll take tonight. 40s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well,